Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to clear the Windows Update Cache on your Windows 7 computer and hopefully resolve issues you're having with your Windows Update functionality on your computer. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu and you want to type in Services. And one of the best matches that comes up underneath programs should say services here. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And this will take a moment, so you just want to be patient. Okay, so I'm going to expand the view a little bit here. And you want to go down to find something that says Windows Update for the name of it. So we're dragging that over. And we want to go down until we get to something that says Windows Update. Right here. And now you want to left click on Stop the Service up here. And this should take a moment to stop the service. Okay, so I believe it's stopped, and if it says start the service up here, that means it was stopped. So we can close out of this window. And now you want to head to the start button, and you want to left click on it one time. And now you want to type in run. Best program that should come up should say run. You want to left click on it. And now for open, you want to type in C, or whatever your main hard drive that Windows is installed on. So if it might be the C, D, or E drive, or anything between A and Z. You can go underneath my computer and see where Windows installed and your local disk location is. But for most people, it should be the C drive. And now you want to type a colon, so like the two little dots on top of each other. Now you want to do a backslash. Now you want to type in Windows. Another backslash. Software. Distribution. And you can see it automatically starts to try and fill it in. I'm not sure it's because I might have searched it before, but we can see that we have something here. So C colon forward slash or backslash Windows and then another backslash software distribution. There should be no spaces in here whatsoever. Then you want to click on OK. And I guess now we can fittingly say OK. And what we're going to do now that we have this view we're going to double click on the download folder right here to open it up. Now you want to hold down the control A key on your keyboard to select all these entries. And then you want to delete them. So you can either right click and then delete or hold down the delete key on your keyboard. You want to send all these to the recycling bin and you will need to provide a ministry of permission. So click on continue for any prompts you get. Don't worry, we're not deleting any Windows updates here. This is just a backup stored cached version of the updates, but obviously that's where our problem is stemming from. So now that we've removed that, I'd recommend closing out of here. Open back up the start menu, type in services once again. And basically what we're doing now is just going to turn back on the Windows update service. And I would still recommend, even though we're going to be turning the Windows Update Service back on, and it should come back on automatically, 
after we restart our computer because we just stopped the servers we didn't change the startup settings I would still recommend that we restart our computer but now that we're on this screen you want to left click on the start button from this context menu and it should begin attempting to start up the servers and once that's done like I said restart your computer try and run some updates and you should be good to go so again I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial Goodbye.